In this video, we will solve a numerical problem on how to calculate tax burden and excess tax burden. This question was asked by a brother on YouTube. The question goes like this. Given a manufacturing industry with the demand function is P is equal to 40 minus Q, P is the price and Q is the quantity, and that uh, marginal cost is equal to Q if government introduces a tax which is equal to 4.5 Q we have to calculate the efficient level of production the equilibrium after uh, tax the tax burden and the excess tax burden okay so what we are being given we are being given the demand function is so our demand uh, demand function is so let us write as d as demand function so demand function is p is equal to 40 minus q okay we are being told that marginal cost is q so what exactly is meant by marginal cost so our supply function let us write it is f c u p p l y supply function <laughs> supply function is nothing but the marginal cost okay so marginal cost is actually the supply function that means our marginal cost is equal to q here okay this is our supply function now we are being told to find out the efficient level of production okay so let us first to draw the graph to make the sense okay let us say we have quantity on horizontal side price on vertical side given this demand function it will look like this downward sloping demand function okay and we have the supply function and its origin it will go through the origin like this this is our supply function okay so marginal cost is equal to q and let's write in place of p is equal to mc is equal to q okay so this is demand function this is supply function obviously the intercept is here 40 so the efficient level of production occurs where and let's uh, denote it by s okay so efficient level of equilibrium or production uh, will be at the intersection of demand and supply functions that means at a point where demand is equal to supply demand function is 40 minus q and supply function is p is equal to q so let's equate it with this solving so q transposing it will become 2q that means 2q is equal to 40 which implies our let me write it here our q will be equal to 40 upon 2 is 20 that means our efficient level of production will occur at this point we will have 40 units of production and what will be the price so price will be simply equal to just plug this efficient level of production that means q is equal to 20 into demand function so we have 40 minus q in place of q we have 20 which gives us p is equal to 20 so our efficient level of output and price will be 40 and 20 so our equilibrium price will be 20 this was first part <clears throat> now we are being told and let's be clear here that the government introduces a tax that means 4.5 units that means our tax is here per unit tax is here 4.5 and this is being imposed on the supply obviously okay so our tax rate is 4.5 okay what happens when this per unit tax is being imposed it simply increases our marginal cost of production and we know that marginal cost is nothing but the supply curve that means our supply curve will shift leftwards okay we know that when tax is being included uh, sorry in imposed our marginal cost of production will increase that means our new supply 
function let's denote it by s dash will be equal to the original marginal cost that was being given us as q plus the tax rate that is being imposed so our new supply function or let's write it uh, in this fashion s dash will be equal to p or let's write it simply s is equal to marginal cost was uh, originally q plus tax rate is 4.5 this is our new supply function now to find the equilibrium after tax that means our supply function has sh uh, you know shifted leftwards that means let's draw it in this fashion so this is our new supply function after tax so at equilibrium at new equilibrium okay our original demand function intersects this new supply function okay so demand function is this 40 minus q 40 minus q should be equal to our new supply function that is q plus 4.5 so this is 2q 2q will be equal to 40 minus 4.5 it will come out to be 35.5 which gives us q uh, is equal to 35.5 upon 2 it will be 17.75 okay that means the new equilibrium after the tax has been imposed our new equilibrium will be 17.75 and let us draw it here so we will be producing less than the efficient level of production that is 17.75 here and what is the price that the consumers will pay we can simply uh, find out that very stuff we just plug this q is equal to 17 uh, 17.75 back in our original demand function that means our p will be equal to our p will be equal to 40 minus this q dash new which is uh, 40 minus uh, 17.75 solving this it will give us uh, p dash let us write it as p dash will be equal to 22 point i have calculated it 25 okay so buyers will be paying 22.25 as the price so price will be 22.25 post tax and quantity supplied or demanded will be 17.75 this is the second part now the third part tells us to find out the tax burden okay now here we can also find out we have to find out another uh, thing here when quantity is being you know demanded 17.75 what is at what price it will be what is the price that uh, the sellers will receive we need to find out that very price also okay so we just plug this 17.75 into new supply function our new supply function is this okay so uh, our s dash which is our new p okay let us write it as p double dash the price that uh, sellers will receive will be equal to q the quantity that is being transacted that is sorry we need to uh, plug this into the original supply function our original uh, supply function is this okay that means price will be equal to so in place of uh, you know q we have this uh, thing here 17.75 okay so producers will receive a price of 17.75 here okay simple thing the quantity that is being transacted after uh, the imposition of tax we just plug this very quantity into our original supply function that gives us p is equal to 17.75 now we have to calculate the tax burden 
And what is tax burden? Tax burden is nothing but it is equal to the tax revenue. Okay, so let's write it here tax revenue plus dead weight loss. Dead weight loss. Okay, so tax revenue is simply the tax rate times the quantity that is being transacted that is this curate and what is dead weight loss dead weight loss is the inefficiency that has been uh, you know imposed uh, when uh, you know a tax is being imposed so this triangle the area of this triangle gives us the dead weight loss okay the area of this triangle is simply base will be equal to 40 minus 17 uh, 0.25 and this will come out to be so if we subtract 17 uh, 17.75 from 40 i have calculated it somewhere It will come out to be and uh, let me see it mm. so here we have 22.25 minus 17.75 this is 4.5 this base so this is 4.5 times uh, sorry it is not here 40 it is actually 20 that's why I was get confused so it is here 20 we have seen somewhere 2q yes it is 20 okay so this is base simple thing we need to find out the area of this very triangle so this is here 4.5 and its height will be equal to 20 minus 17.75 that is 2.25 to this we divide by 2 okay area of a triangle is simply one half of base into altitude So, what is our tax rate? That is 4.5. Quantity that is being transacted is equal to 17.75. 17.75 plus when solving this out, it will come out to be 5.06. Solving again, so this will come out to be uh, 79.88 plus 5.06 and it comes out to be 84.94 okay so the tax burden is simply the tax revenue so tax revenue is simply the tax rate this is the tax rate times the quantity that is being uh, you know supplied or sorry quantity that is being demanded the area of uh, this very uh, you know rectangle gives us the tax revenue plus and let me be very specific with the colors here the area of this rectangle plus the area of this uh, green triangle gives us the tax burden okay so tax burden is simply tax revenue tax revenue is the area of this triangle plus dead weight loss the area of this very triangle okay now we are being told to find out the excess tax burden okay so fourth part is excess excess tax burden excess per uh, excess tax burden or excess burden of tax is simply uh, equal to the dead weight loss okay so let's write it here d w l uh, excess burden of tax is equal to the dead weight loss and we have calculated the dead weight loss the area of this very uh, you know and this value triangle came out to be 5.06 5.06 will be our excess tax burden okay so i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you